Welcome back, Mongo Fix. So it's almost end of cutting season, but Mongo picked this guy up. Story is it uh, no longer start good. No longer run. Briggs and Stratton engine. So let's take a look, see what go on. Oh, we see if there's fuel in there. A little bit, about half full. Seem good. Let's see if there's oil in there. Little bit. Seem good. Oh, let's see. Check air filter. Well, it got the air filter. Seem good. Let's go, juice. Well, she died. Very interesting. So it run on go juice. No run by self very good. Well, that tell us magneto, spark plug, all that good. Because it's firing. It can run. But it's not very stable by self, so probably some sort of fuel problem. We'll get this big dumb cover out of the way. Not super clean. Governor valve, little squeaky. Let the brake clean. Get rid of all the yuckies. Got one, two, three little five sixteenths bolts in here. Get this guy out of the way. Little breather tube in there too. Watch out for that one. This uh, this little governor valve. So when engine load get too high, it move back and give more throttle. This carburetor bowl. We'll have to take check this out. See if it's clogged. Maybe it's full of junk. So not all these the same, but fuel go in there. Then bowl down under there. Got to get that bolt out. That tighten bowl to carburetor. So carburetor bolt half inch. Be sure loosen. And watch out because you probably get gas just like that. So fuel will come out. In fact, it probably just keep coming out till we take this line and stick it up. Line out of way. But then as you loosen this, gas and fuel will come out, so be sure you're in good ventilated space. And watch out, because sometimes there are gasket or o-ring between there. So let's take a look. A couple floaties. Not too cloudy though. Not horrible. Wipe that off with clean rag. Yep, that's not too bad at all. Pretty nice. So a couple little orifices in there. See those holes? Always best to uh, use like small toothpick or something. Clean those out real good. Make sure they're not gummed up. So just little teeth speck, nice and gentle. Twist it around in there. Nope, oh, gets a little bit of gunk out. Little bit of gunk in there. So we keep work around in there and get our brake clean. Watch your eyes, but should see two spouts on each side shoot out. Well, that might have been a problem, maybe. Just not get enough fuel to keep going. So this uh, carburetor float, when fuel fill up the bowl of the carburetor, 
this float on top of fuel, when it gets up to full, the little valve shut off thing back here, it shut fuel off so it don't overfill. So we spray that out real good and put her back together. It might have been just that little club clogged up junk inside that bottom valve. Fuel back in and check for leak. So we try it as is. Is it the more liquid courage? So it looked like it was just uh, clogged a little bit in the carburetor. And my little main jet in the bolt in the bottom. So we put this all back together. Take it outside, see if it cut grass, and run a tank of fuel through it so it, we can put nice fresh fuel in it. for about an hour and a half. That good running mower. Very nice. Another pretty simple fix. I'm going to like when it's not too complicated. Better example for you folk at home. So you see, you know, most times it's fairly easy fix. You know, take the little carburetor bowl out, clean out the little valves and jets. All good. Run out all bad gas or you could drain, but I'm going to like run out and use. That way, don't waste any of the fuel. Might as well burn it. Now we put fresh gas in and it's ready for next season. Of course, maybe wait till next season to put fresh gas in. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. Show you how to fix carburetor and keep more running good. Mongo, thank you.